Designing Hansel and Gretel is almost ridiculous in its possibilities. It's extremely expansive and the design of the piece has almost endless options. A strong design concept is crucial, so you have a style and a vision for the piece as a whole. By all means, be inspired by what Michael Vale and Nehi created originally, but I'd suggest using their ideas as a starting point, which you can develop, update, and discover new aesthetics to use. Here are some key parts of your design concept to focus on. Time and place. Is this story being told in modern day? Or is it from a historical time? This is one of the big overarching choices for your concept, which will affect every aspect of your design. And where is this story set? Is it in an Amazon rainforest or a Scandinavian wood? Is it hot or cold? Does it need to be a literal forest at all? Or could it be something more abstract and non-naturalistic? How literal do we need to be with the settings of a house, a wood, and the witch's house? Do we need walls and roofs, or is furniture enough? Do we even need furniture? Could we just use physical theatre and mime? Colour scheme. Do you want to use a defined colour scheme across your concept? Could it be black and white? Vibrant Technicolor? sepia, or use reds, greens, or blues. And why do you want to use these colours? Can you use colour in the piece to represent things and aid the storytelling? Music. How will music work in the production? Is there a band area where the musicians play from? Or do they travel around the space like actor musicians? If so, is the music arranged for portable instruments, such as woodwinds, brass, or strings? Puppetry. Will you be using puppetry in any form like the original production did? What will the creatures and animals look like? Will they be puppets or animal costumes for the actors? Magic moments. What theatrical tools, in terms of design, do you have that could help you stage those magic or difficult moments that the play is full of? How can sound help create these moments? How could props or furniture be used? How might lighting help? Chaos or economy? Is the design messy, abundant and excessive with stuff everywhere? Are you creating a playground kind of vibe? Or are you considering being economical and minimal, perhaps with key props and furniture and simplistic lighting and sound? Inspirations. What artist's work can you borrow from in your concept? Have you thought about using projection or illustration at all? If so, look at the work of the theatre company 1927 or the theatre maker Christopher Harrison for inspiration. Can you draw on the aesthetic of another artist, filmmaker or illustrator? Can artists such as Salvador Dali, Wes Anderson or Quentin Blake be key influences to help realise your concept? Be inspired by other art to find a formula that works on the concept for your staging. Designing a show like this is a huge undertaking, so I suggest that you break down all of these focus points. Try writing up and working from a list of questions, just like the ones I've just posed you. Perhaps make a list of problems to solve, e.g. how do I make it snow? Or how do we stage the fire? Slowly work your way down the list and scribble down ideas for each one. Collaborate and discuss these ideas with the rest of your group. A play like this depends on collaboration in order to create the best work. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please give it a like. Do check out these other videos and subscribe. And if you want to support what I do on the channel, you can click on the link in the video description. All the best.